Are you ready? Ready. Okay, now that you all sat down, stand up. We're gonna play follow the leader. Who wants to be the leader? Yeah. You got it. All right, Miss Nova, you're the leader. Everybody line up behind Nova. Quick, quick, we only have two minutes. This is a quick game. All right, Nova, hold on one second. There's one, wait, wait, Nova. <laughs> you are so good. There's one rule, okay? You have to walk around and ask somebody else to follow us. And then when they get up, you go to the back of the line and you're gonna be the next leader. Okay, Mateo? Okay, let's go. All right. I know he's your brother, that's perfect. Okay, Nova, ready, go. Ask somebody to follow us. Go follow Nova, follow Nova. Quick, quick, it's a speed round. We have two minutes, she's very fast. Speed walk. Nova, ask somebody to follow you. Ask some, ask somebody. Go ask your mom, quick, follow Nova. She is very speedy, this is a good workout. You're gonna warm up the whole room. Okay, now. all right, go to the back of the line, and now you're the leader. Come on over. Suzanne, now you're the leader. No, Suzanne's in the back. Oh, Suzanne's in the back? Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Yeah. Mateo, you wanna be the leader? Oh, okay, I'll follow, let's go to the back. All right, now you're the leader. Go find somebody else. Here we go. Faster, faster, faster. Okay, perfect. Okay, this will be our last one. You find someone else to follow us, okay? Go, go, go. I will. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Excellent. We don't all have to go up there. We can all sit down. Yes, come on down. Eric, it's optional. You can stay there if you want. You can join us or you can go back to your spots, whichever you want. Thank you very much. Okay, perfect. So now, a couple of questions about that game. Which do you like better? Do you like to be the leader or the follower? Leader, why? Because because you're in control, and if something happens, you can't yell at somebody. But they might yell at you, my friend. I'm just saying. Um, what else? Who else? What do you like better, leader or follower? Yeah, follower. How come? Because you don't have to make all the decisions. Yeah, yeah. How about you? Follower, how come? Okay, because if a bear was gonna attack you, he'd probably only eat the first person or the last person. <laughs> it's safer to be in the middle. That's a good lesson, yes. Interesting. The leader, because it's fun. Okay, excellent. Now, um, oh, do we have, I know we've got, here's a second question. Which one's easier, to be the leader or the follower? Follower, leader, how come? Because the leader can just walk and pick the direction. How about follower, for somebody who said follower, why is it easier? You don't have to make decisions, Ollie? Same thing, you don't have to make decisions. In today's story, in the gospel story, Jesus asks a guy named <laughs> Philip to come follow him. He says, hey Phil, come follow me. And Phil's like, okay, sure. And then Phil goes and asks his friend, Nathaniel. He's like, hey, Nate, come and follow us. And Nate's not so sure. But here's a tricky question. In this story, who's the leader and who's the follower? Jesus. Anybody else? Ollie? Philip is the follower, but also Philip becomes a leader because he asks Nathaniel to follow as well. Now, remember when you were in line, were some of you both the leader and the follower? You got to lead the whole line. And even if you were in the middle of the line, was there someone in front of you that you were following? And was there someone behind you that was following you, right? So you were both. You were both the leader and the follower. And I think that's part of what the story is about today. Jesus calls us to follow him, and that makes us all leaders. When we practice love and kindness at home and at school, we are following Jesus and being an example to others through our faith. So real quick, one last question. How do you show kindness and love for your parents or your sisters and brothers or your friends? Yeah. 
You treat people how you want to be treated. That's being a leader. How do you show kindness and love at home? Anybody else? Emmy? Yeah. You hug your mom. That's right. When you give hugs, you're showing love and kindness, and you're being a leader in your faith. All right, let's say a quick prayer. You guys are going to learn more about this in, ch in kids' church. Please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Please help us to follow him and be good leaders every day. Please help us to follow him and be good leaders every day. Amen. All right, you guys, have fun in kids' church.